This video is about the Visionaire cipher. There are two main things I'm going to cover. One, the format of the key. Two, how to encrypt using this cipher. But before we do that, um, I want to introduce the cipher a little bit. It was invented in the 1500s, presumably by a guy named Visionaire, and it was used until the 1800s when it was cracked by two guys named Babbage and Kosicki. Okay, that's it for history. The key. The key is essentially a string of numbers. I wrote A1, A2, etc. Um, where each of these individual numbers, the A's, are in between 0 and 25. They're from 1 to 25. Uh, the reason for this being that I'm using the English alphabet and that's 26 options. You don't want to go, you don't want to have your numbers in the key bigger than the size of the alphabet you're using. So I put an example. If your key is 10, 4, 24. Um, that's a pretty short key, only three long, and the longer it is, the harder, well, the longer it'll take to crack. Um, and each of these individual numbers are, indeed, 25 or less. Now I'm going to show you how to encrypt using the Visionaire cipher. You can see I have my plain text here, or the message that I want to send. I just wrote how to encrypt. So, we're going to use our key. I'm going to, um, use the key from above. So our key is 10, 4, 24. Now, I'm just going to use these numbers over and over and over in my uh, plain text. So what I mean by that is I'm going to put a 10 under the H, and then I'm going to put a 4 under the O, and a 24 under the W. I just use them all in order, one at a time. Then I'm going to start over. 10, 4, 24 one number per letter. And I'm going to go all the way down until I get to the end of my message. Now, in this one I ended on 24, which was the last number in the key. However, if it hadn't been the last number in the key, that's okay. You just go until you run out of letters to encrypt. So, now, what I'm going to do with this is, you can see I wrote the alphabet down here at the bottom. What I want to do is I want to find the letter that is my plain text. H, right here. And then I want to add this number, my key. So I'm going to add 10 to it. So we start out at H and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we end up with R. So I'm going to put R right here. So H goes to R. Now we do the next letter, O. Where's O? O is right here. We want to add Four, our key number. One, two, three, four. We end up with S. Right, w. Twenty-four. One, two, three. Now we run out of letters, but that's okay. We're just going to start right back at the beginning. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. We have a U. T. Okay, where's T? Here. We want to add 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, just start over. 7, 8, 9, 10. We have O again. We want to add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, you can just add the numbers. Like, H is 7 here and you want to add 10, and you'll get 17, which you can see is R right here. 10 plus 7 is 17, which is R, which is what we got, um, and that sometimes can be easier, but sometimes you end up having to use a modulus, and if you don't know how to do that, it's easier just to count it this way. Now I'm going to do the rest of this in the same pattern. Uh, it would be a good exercise if you want to learn how to, to try this, and then check your work with what I do. Okay, hopefully you got the rest of the same message as I did. I don't think I made any counting errors. This right here is the ciphertext. This is the encrypted message. It is what you would send if you didn't want anybody else to read it. And then assuming that the person you were sending it to had the key, they would be able to decrypt. If you want to learn how to decrypt next, I have a separate video for that link below. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'd be happy to answer as best as I can. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.